Let's just talk about the big issue nowadays. Well, we all are facing problems in our life, dealing with family, workload, personal matters, physical issues, and thinking our problems are the biggest and the toughest to deal with. However, in all that, we forget about the real problem that's affecting all of us, which is climate change. We might be thinking it's not related to me or my life, even though we know it's a big issue for all mankind. If someone talks about it, we simply say it's not the problem a person can deal with. We think we need a higher level support from our leaders to work on this problem. If we don't have that, we simply don't do anything. Well, here's the thing. We need to understand, if our climate gets disturbed, we all will be affected by it. it means each and every person living on this planet. So we all in our normal lives should implement a few things which might do a little part not to damage our earth more than it is damaged now. So here are a few simple changes we can do. The first and most important thing is our food. We all have to eat food to survive and we all love to eat as well. But what if I tell you the most basic thing we do to survive can help you to reduce climate change? According to a recent research done by University of California, it is found that what we eat can totally affect the climate change. So how does it work? Well, as research shows, the amount of meat we're eating in daily basis can be more damaging than our all transport system. Because animals like cows and sheep produce more methane, a very harmful gas to our environment, than our all transportation system including cars, ships, planes, and others. Plus, we need billion tons of grains to feed these animals, and to produce these grains, we need a lot of land, fertilizers, energy, etc. Instead, with that number of grains, we can feed 3.5 billion people. So, let's just go through the carbon chart for food. If you eat one serving of beef, you end up producing 330 grams of carbon to the environment. This number will be 52 grams if you eat the same amount of chicken and 40 grams for fish and 14 grams for veggies and 2 grams for lentils. I'm not saying cut the meat entirely from our diet. We can have fish or chicken maybe twice a week and beef maybe once or twice a month. If you can cut more, it will be a grateful health for climate. Another idea which can be useful is to change our light bulbs to LEDs. LEDs are not just cheaper than light bulbs, but it consumes 90% less than our normal light bulb. Also, it will be around in your house for at least several years, unlike light bulb, which will be over in 2-3 to three months. So, it's time to switch your light bulbs to LEDs. There are a few more common things people should do, but they don't do it such as unplug every electronic devices when not in use, check your gas caps for any leakage, reduce food waste, buy appliances with more Energy Star label. And the last thing we could do is to educate ourselves, like go to the national parks or anywhere outside where we can learn more about the importance of nature in our lives. And just sitting at home watching videos and reading articles won't just do anything to the environment. So isn't it better to just go outside and start our simple steps today to save our planet?